active, so you, you don't sit and learn and listen. So it's, it's more about moving around. So, but also there are cards. And um, these cards are really, really easy to use as well. So they're cards. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Um, so I want you guys <laughs> to find your number. Can you find your number, Roy? Who's going to find their number when I say start? First will be uh, going to monkey bars, let's say. <laughs> yeah? So I usually send them to do something else. Such a big number. A big Thank you. <laughs> So ready? Go. Find wow. your number. Oh. Oh wow. wow. Philo was first. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Everyone's really oh. their number. Philo, you can go play on your monkey bar. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Or do you want another number? Yeah. So yeah. usually they want another number and I give them another number to find. So they bring me the number that they found. And you, of course, found numbers easily because you found they were grown-ups. But yeah. children would not find it easily. So it's a big challenge. So a big challenge. It, yeah. so and uh, people Tell usually me. say, do not introduce numbers that are very big to young children. Now explain me why. Why shouldn't we introduce big numbers to children? They like big numbers. So okay. this activity is pretty active. It doesn't really uh, stop them from learning. And uh, they also love big numbers and they love to like find things on this line. But also when this line is like this, so you can put it on the floor, they like to walk along the line mm -hmm. and find the number like with their feet. Mm -hmm. uh, another thing you can do with children, you can ask them to line it up like as, as a line. So from zero to 100. So that's gonna be very, very big activity. So imagine that you have three numbers, not, not like all these numbers, you have some numbers, you have some numbers, and then you can start. So where would we put zero? Phil? So let's start. Who's got the zero? Activity for us also. Yeah, so let's find zero. We're not going to make the whole line, but we'll start so to show what it looks like. Can you, yeah, can you find zero in your pile? Because zero is uh, our first like? number. Zero looks like, like this. Oh. <laughs> and zero means nothing. Oh. Yeah. Who no. Zero? No. no. Who's got one? I don't know. No, I don't no? know. No. No. Who's got no. one? Who's the lucky one? Yay! So put it over there. Um, so who's got two? Yeah. Who's got two? Oh my god. Me. <laughs> oh yeah, you found three. Oh, two. two. Right. So who's got three? So now look at your numbers and be ready. So who's got four? Yeah. Who's got five? Five. Easy. No. Who's got five? No. No. We have to succeed. Who's got six? There you go. Yeah, it is. Who's got six? I got six. So yeah, we'll miss five point seven. Seven. How about eight? I'm eight. Great. So you see, it's collaborative activity and also quite active. So who's got nine? I got nine. And who's got ten? Anyone ten? Who can find ten over there? What ten looks like? Yay! That's that's oh. black. So do you have black one and zero? Ten. So this activity is making zero fun. Nine. Please, kinder, pre kinder, kinder, uh, school age depends on the other group. So how advanced they are. Yeah. 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 Yes, yes. Yeah. So it will be more advanced. So I will do different activities. So that's for preschoolers. Okay, so let's say we uh, created the line, depending on how old are children and if they're interested in numbers, if they want to do all 100, that's fine. If they kind of lose interest, I will stop in there. So, okay, guys, thank you very much. And then, um, yeah, now we're gonna play um, what it's called, um, like kind of uh, guess the number game. So they love this because it's very competitive, yeah? So, uh, because you know your numbers, Anyone? So yeah, the one who will first yell it out, and they're allowed to yell out, gonna get the card. Ready? Um, 